Peace and blessings, fam. This is me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC, Lions Den Boston community. Shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University, home of the mighty Jaguars. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about Southern University men's and women's basketball. And I'm going to talk about Southern University football also. Uh, both Southern University men and women, their season came to an end in the SWAC tournament this past Thursday. Southern University men lost to Bethune Cookman, uh, 73 to 58. Uh, Bethune Cookman beat them in their last uh, Saturday home game of the season. And Bethune Cookman also ended their season in the SWAC tournament. In addition to that, uh, Southern University women, they lost to Alcorn State, 59 to 52. So that ended their season also. Both of them lost Thursday. And truthfully speaking, uh, it's not the same amount of fanfare and fan support uh, around Southern University men's and women's basketball that it once was, you know, like in the 90s and the 2000s. So, you know, hopefully they can get back to what they once were in terms of uh, being able to pack the Felton G. Clark Activity Center. Now, in terms of Southern University coaching staff, you know, it's been made official. Of course, we know Terrence Graves is the head coach. Uh, Mark Frederick is going to be the offensive coordinator and running backs coach. Uh, Henry Miller is going to be the defensive coordinator, cornerbacks coach, and the nickel, nickelbacks coach. Uh, every Todd, he's going to be the special teams coordinator. He's also going to coach the defensive ends. Uh, Willie Totten is going to be the quarterbacks coach. Uh, Fred McNair, former Alcorn State head coach, he's going to coach the tight ends. Uh, Chris Scott is going to coach the linebackers. Uh, Damian Nevins is going to coach the offensive line. Uh, Quentin Burrell is going to coach the wide receivers. Uh, Demarcus Miller, you know, former standout Southern University defensive tackle. Of course, he's going to coach the defensive tackles. Uh, Sean Wallace, another standout uh, SWAC defensive player of the year in 1993. He's going to coach the safeties. And Ronald Moore, he's going to be the strength conditioning coach for football. Uh, Rick Jackson is going to be the director of football operations. So that's Southern University's uh, coaching staff breakdown. In addition to that, in terms of Southern University, when it comes to their football, basically, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what Southern University, you know, what they're going to do this coming spring. The spring game is going to be on April the 13th uh, at 2 p.m. Central, uh, I mean, 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, at A.W. Mumford Stadium. You know, of course, I'll be in attendance if the law says the same. You know, so hopefully uh, the spring game is going to tell us a lot about how good Southern University could be this coming season. So more than anything, you know, I'm looking forward to the spring game. I'm, uh, the plan is for me to do something special uh, for this coming spring game. And in addition to that, uh, my next Southern University top five video is going to be coming out soon. If you have not done so already, please go check out. Uh, episode 37 of Bayou Sports Talk with myself, uh, my sister Kay, my cousin King Ray. Go check it out. Uh, in addition to that, if you have not done so, go check out my brother Brent Fox. Uh, he's a huge Steelers fan. You know, he talked about the acquisition of Justin Fields, and he also, also talked about some of the other acquisitions of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, also, tonight, at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come check out myself, my brother, Jared O'Leven Green, his twin JB uh, on the Southern Parlor Show. Come check us out tonight. Y'all have a blessed, phenomenal afternoon, blessed, phenomenal evening. Catch y'all on Rebound. Peace and blessings.